full race cards and selections for every weekend and every day of major horse racing festivals, are available on our website. Coral Eclipse Day at Sandown Park, and if the weather holds, the crowds can enjoy a classic day of racing at the Isha track. Tiber Flow looks a solid option in the opener, dropping back to the bare minimum to follow up his success in the chip chase, stakes at Newcastle last Saturday. The cheek pieces are on to aid concentration, and if he shows the same good attitude that got him upsides of spy catcher last week, he's sure to be in the mix. Skeptic can score in the Coral Charge handicap for Andrew Balding, with Holly Doyle a notable jockey booking, while Stenton Glider is the one to keep tabs on in the Distaff Stakes. This listed contest is a much easier assignment, than the 1000 Guineas Classic when she was last seen, and after a break should be in the mix, with Richard Hannon's Magical Sunset and John Quinn's Bree also making plenty of appeal. Saturday's nap, though, is in the feature, where we'll side with Emily Upjohn. It is slightly disappointing to see just the four runners lining up for one of the flat racing season's highlights, but this year's renewal looks a straight showdown between Emily Upjohn and Paddington. There's a £7 pull in Paddington's favour, the three-year-old Colt who is unbeaten in four starts this term, but this is his third Group 1 contest in the space of six weeks. He's clearly one of the best of the crop at Aidan O'Brien's Ballydoyle Yard, and he looked to have this trip in his range when beating 2,000 guineas winner, Chaldine in the St. James's Palace Stakes at Royal Ascot. However, the vote goes to the classy four-year-old filly, Emily Upjohn, who looked better than ever in the Coronation Cup at Epsom last month, and arrives here with fewer miles on the clock this season. Fascinating. Soon after, down at San Clu, Westover is a warm order favourite to land the main event. It is easy to back British Raider Westover for this Group 1 in what looks like an ordinary race for the grade. That will be obvious in the betting, but it's hard to see past Rafe Beckett's Frankel Colt, with the re-opposing tons needing to find 12 lengths on the selection from their last clash in the Coronation Cup at Epsom, the race won by Emily Upjohn in striking fashion. Westover? The class act of this field, is very hard to oppose if coping with the ground, and should be winning this.